House. This is sixth grade U.S. History and Science. Uh, my name is Mr. Russell. I can't wait for this year to uh, meet every one of you and get to know you. I uh, use U.S. History sometimes in the place of social studies, you'll see interchangeably, but it just describes better the course of study that we'll have this year, uh, but we'll get more into that later. Uh, first off, a little bit about me. I am originally from Chicago, so uh, sports and food are just part of my DNA. Um, I'm an avid Cubs fan. I definitely love pizza, any kind of pizza. I could eat pizza seven days a week. Um, and we have a pretty cool reward system for sixth grade. I think you'll enjoy. We'll get more into that later. That's uh, pizza themed as well. So. I uh, received my Bachelor in Arts in English at Dominican University outside of Chicago and uh, after that moved down to St. Petersburg, Florida. I have been here for 25 years, I'm married. I have a 20 year old daughter, she's attending college, uh, going in as a junior, and I also have a son who's going into seventh grade uh, at a school in St. Petersburg, not here, but uh, parents we have is something in common. We both have kiddos in middle school, so I, I full know the challenges that we face and uh, some of the great opportunities that we have for our kids today. A couple of years ago, I published a uh, children's book. I wrote and published a children's book, and I had the uh, opportunity to present that to uh, various schools uh, around the area. And one of those was Plato Academy in Tampa. And I was um, a featured author for a couple of years at their literacy nights. And uh, in presenting to the kids and the parents and the faculty, I, I really got a feel of the family atmosphere uh, in Plato uh, at their school. So I knew when I made my decision to uh, make a career change to teaching that I wanted to be somewhere in the Plato family. Um, for about 25 years, like I said, I worked in the corporate world in various positions from insurance to technology sales uh, to management, uh, but never really found fulfillment in those jobs. So I am looking forward to uh, this, this new career uh, in teaching. Um, and I really am looking forward to taking these titans to new heights and uh, having them achieve their full potential. I'm going to give the best of my attention, uh, my skills, and any, any help I can be, I will uh, make myself available to the students and uh, to your parents. So communication is key. I'll always keep in touch. My email is uh, always available. We have the class website. We have Google Classroom. So, and we'll get into more of that uh, in the slides. But um, speaking of slides, there's my family. We were in Chicago, let me get rid of that. There's my dog, his name is Leo. Uh, wore a sweater for maybe, you know, for the two days that it's winter in Florida. Uh, I don't think he liked it much. Here's a, there's a smiling picture of him, he's, he's much happier there. Um, there we are in St. Augustine. Love it here down here, in the, a lot of the great culture in Florida. Uh, me and my family like to uh, visit a lot of different places. I can't wait to hear about what you do and where you like to visit, where you like to go, and all, all about your talents. Um, my son, as, as I mentioned him, he's going into seventh grade. He loves to draw, and he loves superheroes. Spider-Man is, is one of his favorites, but this is one of his drawings. And I think the, uh, the quote, with great power comes great responsibility very apropos to our class. We will, as middle schoolers now, be faced with a lot more uh, responsibility and power, and how we use that is going to uh, set us up for success for, for all of middle school. So, like I said, I can't wait to see what kind of talents you, you have and, and, and get to know you as, as students. Uh, so as far as responsibility, what's expected of you, your behavior, um, I always expect that you behave respectfully toward yourself, your peers, and your teacher. That'll be, that'll be first and foremost. Um, 
listen carefully and speak thoughtfully, and then always give your best effort. So we have some Google Meet expectations for those of us that will be virtual. Uh, we recommend that you find a quiet spot in your house. Uh, that's not always easy to do. Um, dress appropriately, that, that puts you in the mood for school and gets your mind uh, on work. Uh, so turn off all other devices. I know that at my house I even unplug the landline. I don't know if you have landlines at your house, but if you do, it might be a good idea to turn those ringers off and, and whatnot. Uh, it's important to mute yourself uh, if you're on a meet. Um, always be on time, and actually on time is five minutes early. So that'll, that'll take you far in life, to be uh, five minutes early when, when a time is set for a meeting or, or anything. And then be prepared, have all your necessary supplies with you. Uh, so a little bit about Google Classroom. Students are gonna utilize Google Classroom to access daily assignments, uh, documents, and files. I'm gonna post everything on, on Google Classroom. Students will receive an email invite from me if there's a link or a code they will use to join a class. So for in-class participation and, and at home, um, I should be watching, mouth is quiet, body upright, hands empty, and ears are listening. And that's not an acronym, so MP doesn't stand for anything. But you see the hand raised, uh, and I expect you to give me those five uh, of your attention. So some rewards, like I talked about, we uh, devised a, a pizza box, and um, you can earn a slice. If you show some stellar class participation, um, an outstanding act of kindness or respect will earn you a slice, and a remarkable feat of friendship, and then what a slice might earn. I'll just get in the way here, and here's a slice of pizza for you. Where's my pizza box? We got our reward box, all right? Right now I wish there was some pizza in here, but the tickets will go in there. Um, at the end of the week, we'll choose winners and what you can win. Homework pass, extra day to do homework, uh, free time in class to uh, possibly listen to some music, and then extra credit, uh, either in history or science. We'll, we'll figure that out. But uh, hopefully that will inspire you to uh, be the best citizen that you can be here in the class. So our schedule, we're going to meet Monday through Friday, uh, depending where you are. 6A is my homeroom. And there'll basically be uh, science for the first period. And we'll stay in here and have uh, social studies following that. Um, so the classes, you'll be with me for both classes, a little bit, a uh, two minute break in between. And then the 6B and 6C in the same format uh, throughout the afternoon. So for social studies, to get into it, uh, you're going to learn about U.S. history, uh, beginning with early colonization and the American Revolution up to the Civil War and Reconstruction period. That takes us up to about uh, 1877. And we'll utilize the United States and on an open-ended history, which is an online textbook. So some of the uh, highlights for the year, we'll start out thinking like a historian. Uh, we're going to go through colonization, American Revolution, U.S. self-government, Western expansion and manifest destiny, uh, changing America, civil war, and then end up in the reconstruction. So for science, uh, it's gonna be life science, uh, earth and space science. We really have a, a good variety this year, as well as chemical and physical science. And we're gonna use laboratory investigations. Uh, students will be introduced to advanced scientific vocabulary and concepts. We're gonna start off with the uh, what is it you know to be a scientist is the scientific method and then we're going to get into some newton's laws uh, force and motion and we're going to study we're going to use the uh, pearson textbook elevate science and that's going to be available online everything is going to be available electronically as well um, this is the uh, schedule for instruction uh, so we're going to intro with scientific thinking we're going to do energy force and motion, uh, study the earth, the atmosphere, cells and life, classifying life, and then a little bit on the body systems. So for your supplies, we're gonna need two notebooks, 
uh, one for history, one for uh, science. Uh, writing utensils, uh, at the bottom we have colored pencils as well. So pencils, pens, colored pencils. You need a three ring binder and some, I think from the other list of supplies for middle school you'll have uh, separators that you'll use in your, in your three ring binder. Loose leaf paper, headphones, and we have your school issue planner here as such. You'll have your name on it, and this will be where you will write all your homework assignments and keep yourself organized. Uh, glue sticks, scissors, we'll also need, we'll do some uh, graphic organizers in our binders as well. So we're, we're gonna keep ourselves organized. Uh, we're gonna begin each day with a bell ringer assignment and it's either gonna review material or expand on the general knowledge of the subject. Uh, so much of the daily work done in class will be organized in your notebook. It will act as a study resource for you throughout the year. It's gonna serve you really well to keep organized, to keep all that uh, in place. And you're of course gonna have your school issue planner uh, to help you with that and Google Classroom. So a policy on homework, uh, very important, completing and turning in homework uh, to be successful in class. The homework is meant to support, solidify the learning you do in class each day, and it prepares you for the tests. The assignments will be posted on the whiteboard, you'll see that in a minute, and on the classroom page in Google Classroom. Be sure to copy carefully your day's homework into your agenda, and then all homework must be completed prior to coming into Here's our grading policy, pretty standard stuff. 90 to 100, 80 to 89B, C, D, and so forth. So it's your responsibility to find out what class work and assignments you've missed. Uh, if you need any, uh, need to do any makeup work, all absent students will be given an equal number of days to of absence to make up assignment without penalty. Again, just Communication would be key here. Uh, get in touch with me if there's any doubt. Google Classroom will have everything updated. Uh, if you have a planned absence, uh, get with me via email and we'll discuss assignments uh, that you can either work on ahead of time. So that's my contact info. That's the main campus phone, the, my email address. And our, we have our class site. We also have the middle school class Weebly. And with that, I thought we could take a tour of the classroom. We have uh, our whiteboard over here. We're gonna have the assignments there. Um, we have some helpful maps. Half the room will be kind of science theme and the other half will be uh, for history. So we're really gonna shoot for the stars this year. And uh, this is where we have our Organized by um, A, B, and C classes. Uh, you want to check your folder uh, throughout the week on your way out of the classroom and into the classroom. Uh, this will be especially important if you are absent. And we have kind of science continuing on the back wall. There's a scientific method. If you're ever in doubt of how it is to go, you have it there. Um, we'll have the class schedule on the back bulletin board. We'll go over some classroom rules the first day or so. Um, first couple days we'll spend getting to know each other and uh, going over those uh, rules, expectations, but uh, here we have some cool documents from history, uh, especially where we'll be studying on our Declaration of Independence, Bill of Rights, Gettysburg Address, all that. And we've got a timeline up there of history. Russell's desk, and this is how you're going to see me for the most part, either in person or virtually. We're going to stay safe. We're going to keep our masks on. We have the hand sanitizer at the door. We're going to wash hands. I'm, my glasses are going to fog up. This is going to happen a lot. Um, we're going to stay, uh, and we have you know social distancing going on here. We're going to stay safe. Hopefully have fun, learn a lot, work hard, succeed, and 
I cannot wait to uh, meet you. And thank you very much. We'll see you soon.